everyone, so today I am back with a haul and this is a reasonably big one today because I've sort of been collecting things over a month, that kind of area, so hopefully it'll be a little bit more interesting than my other ones. It is really, really hot in the conservatory today and I don't know where the window keys are, so I'm going to have to speed through this really quickly, otherwise I'm just going to die of heat. <laughs> so, bear with me. But yeah, let's get straight into it. The, well, I'll do like the one thing that's not really beauty wise first, and that is this self-adhesive album from Paper Chase. It's just got like this beige sort of material looking, yeah, material on the front, I don't know what to say. But I buy these to stick like any tickets that I get or like important cards and stuff, just keep as like a memento. And I've already filled up two of these, so this is a new one. So yeah, that's the first thing that I bought. Right, okay, where should I start? Okay, this is the um, the first thing that I bought out of all the stuff in my haul, and it's from All Saints. And I went to basically Cheshire Oaks, the outlet, um, designer outlet stores over there, and I got this top like dirt cheap. I think it was marked up at like 9.60, but when I took it to the till, it was like five pounds or something, I don't know. But it's this really cute, vest top looks like this and it's got a little skull on it if you can see it just looks like that and i was a bit worried that this wasn't going to fit me because it was a size four but i find that all saints vests can come up really big um so yeah it fits me fine and it's quite stretchy so yeah it works and i really like it and i haven't worn it yet because i've been saving it for this haul and i've had it for weeks so i can't wait to like get this out now that the weather's all nice and warm. Okay, so the next thing I'll share with you is the next thing that I've got. And Converse, I'm needing some sort of like really comfortable walking shoes because I'm obviously going to New York this summer. I think I've told you that before. And yeah, I just want something that's gonna be really comfortable to walk around in. I have got my Toms, but I find that sometimes they can like rub at the back of my, um, back of my heel so I bought these and they are just the black and white versions looks like this I've already worn them so sorry if they're a little bit dirty but yeah they just looks like that and I really really like them I was kind of worried that the thick soled ones would be really boyish and make me look like I have like really big feet because my feet are only size three so I just thought that they might look a bit like oversized on me um, but no, they they fit like really nicely and look really nice. And I think that the thinner soles, like you just would have felt all the ground underneath, like through them. So I think I prefer these ones anyways. But yeah, I'm really excited about these. I got them when there was like a 20% sale. So that made them a little bit more affordable because 45 pounds for some Converse I find is a bit on the expensive side. So yeah, I got them from Office, I didn't say. And then the next thing that I bought was from Selfridges. Now, can you guess what I got from Selfridges? I think I said it in my last video that I didn't know whether to buy it or not. Well, yes, I've gone out and bought another one of the MAC brush cleansers. And I'll show you what it looks like because my last bottle was empty so you can get to see what I meant. But it's basically, it looks like this and it's got pink fluid in it and you spot clean your brushes with it. You're not meant to deep cleanse with this, but sometimes I do because I'm really naughty and that's probably not a great idea, but yeah, really like this. I might still go and get the Beauty Blender Cleanser for actually deep cleaning because it's more of a shampoo, um, but I really enjoy using this. So I went out and got another one and I also got another of my MAC Studio Fix Palette Plus foundations in the colour NC20. So that's my shade. Hopefully that's not upside down, I have no idea what I'm doing here. But yeah, looks like this, get it out. Just a typical compact. Oh, I've not opened it yet, so it's like all brand new. But it looks like that. It's got the mirror. And if you lift this bit up, it's got a sponge which just popped out to say hello. So yeah. And I've been using this for years. I just think that it's one of the best foundations you can use for oily skin, it's really buildable, but you can still see your skin underneath it and it absorbs, absorbs the oils, makes your face look really natural. I really like this, so 
I definitely would recommend it to oily skin girls. Don't know if it would be very good for dry skin because I guess powder will like cling to all the dry patches, but I really like it. And then we may as well keep on the same theme of beauty. I went to Boots and I picked up the surf set, the new mini surf set that they're selling by Bumble and Bumble. I wanted to try the salt spray, which is this one, for forever now. And Viviana Does Makeup was talking about the shampoo and conditioner version and I just needed it. As soon as she said it, I was like, yes, I need this in my life. I need to give this a go. Um, so luckily they bought out the smaller versions because the, the bigger full size versions can be quite expensive. And I'm always really reluctant to buy the full size because what if I don't like it and I've spent 20 quid on like shampoo, I don't even like it. So yeah, the little travel sort of set came out and I was really happy to pay £18 for all these three products and if I really like it I can go out and buy the full size. But in here we have the Surf Foam, can't read it, Foam Wash Shampoo and Cream Rich Conditioner and then the Salt Spray. It looks like that and it's in this cute little case which I actually might take on holiday and like put all my stuff in it for the airport you know because it has to be in a see-through bag so yeah that's quite handy and then I also picked up one of these new um, Charles Worthington takeaway moisture seal hair healer leave-in conditioner looks like this and I just wanted something that was like a leave-in conditioner that made my hair sort of like really soft and like nourished and saw this and picked it up. Again, I bought it because it's a small packet and I don't like buying like full size products unless I'm really convinced I'm gonna love it because otherwise I've spent so much money on something that I'm not gonna use. So this seemed really a decent size. It's got a lot of product in it. And it, it tells you to apply it to damp hair and it says smooth through clean damp hair with fingers or comb repeatedly until applied all over. So. I'm guessing that you don't have to use all of this in one go because that's an awful lot of product to use just like in one go like that's a lot to keep in my hair even if I have thick hair so I'm figuring that you can use it over a couple of times so it'll be nice to sort of like see what I really think about it by using it more than once okay and then went to Debnam's and picked up another foundation which is a bit funny I know that I've already picked up like one foundation but I wanted to try this for so long and I just needed to get colour matched and I'm always a bit like funny about going to the counters because I always get like really shy so I'm like don't take my makeup off and you know I just don't like it I don't know I'm just being silly I don't know if anyone else is like that but yeah I finally went to get colour matched and got this foundation it's the Estee Lauder double wear and I'm in the colour shell if you can see that which is one of like the colours they brought back I believe looks like this it's a really pretty bottle looks like that and yeah I really like it I got two of them because they were giving away a free gift if you bought like two products so I got Two, as I say because they last a really long time so I can just pop one in my drawer and then I won't run out. They also gave away a gift bag it's like a cosmetic bag like a snakeskin purple um, sort of weaved bag and then inside it's got a bunch of products so it's got the Estee Lauder Daywear Advanced Multi Protection Antioxidant Cream in SPF 15 which looks like that it's got the Estee Lauder, I'm not going to say Estee Lauder for them all, but you know that they're Estee Lauder. It's sort of um, a palette of shadows, so it's got a light pink one, like a taupey coloured one, um, a darker pink one and a really dark pink one. Great explanation there, it's also got a mirror in there. There's a small sample of the Idealist Even Skin Tone Illuminator, looks like that. Um, a lipstick, this is in Candy Shimmer Long Lasting Lipstick, looks like that. Uh, what else? There's like quite a lot in this bag so I thought it was quite decent. There's a perfume, Estee Lauder Pleasures and it's just, just a little squirt which I might put on. Mmm that smells really good, it smells like holidays, yummy. 
and then there's eyeliner one is black and one's blackened plum which to me looks a bit like blue but yeah they look like this double ended and then finally there's um, a sumptuous extreme lash multiplying volumizing mascara looks like that and then if I can just open this up but that, oh my word, that brush is huge. <laughs> That's the first time I've opened it. That'll be interesting to try and get into the corner lashes. So yeah, that is everything. If I just whack everything back in here. I thought that was a really good gift just for buying two products. So yeah, definitely head down to Debenhams if you like double wear or you like Estee Lauder. You can get an awesome free gift at the moment. And then the final thing that I bought, well, I didn't technically buy it, I bought it as a present because me and my boyfriend are celebrating our two year anniversary like later on this month and I know I shouldn't have it already but I bought him something that I've already given to him because it's a really big frame and I didn't want to store it so he had it already and then he gave me my present. And I'm not going to share too much about it because I am going to do a post um, on it on our anniversary. But I'll just give you a sneaky peek. Mulberry. My first ever Mulberry. Oh my god. So excited. And if I can just give you a preview. Da, 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 da. This is the box. I'm not showing you anymore. You'll have to wait until my blog post. But yeah, that is all. So hopefully you found this interesting and maybe discovered some products that you'd like to try out. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.